The holiday season is traditionally a time for giving and receiving, but it also ushers in a season of scrutiny, and no one is exempt from the watchful eye of Kitson's renowned holiday hypocrisy window display. Kitson, a popular Los Angeles boutique, is renowned for its attention-grabbing holiday window exhibits. Sear, the store has taken its annual tradition to new heights by featuring a display that calls out celebrities and public figures for their perceived hypocrisy. The centerpiece of the window display is a series of mock magazine covers adorned with the headline People of the Year, accompanied by satirical quotes. The first cover spotlights Prince Harry who has faced criticism for his use of private jets despite his vocal advocacy for environmental protection. The second cover features Meghan Markle, who has drawn scrutiny for her penchant for designer clothing while simultaneously championing sustainability as a hometown goal. Meghan's familiarity with Kitson's iconic brand is well documented, and she may have made several purchases there in the past. Her photo now takes center stage at the Robertson Boulevard location throughout the holiday season a placement likely to provoke strong reactions. In light of these controversies, some Americans have expressed their discontent with the couple, Harry and Meghan Markle. Some have gone so far as to call for their return to the UK while critiquing the sources of their declining popularity in the United States. A political commentator weighed in, stating that there is little appetite for the couple in the States and highlighting Meghan's alleged initial intention to marry into the royal family believing it would boost her popularity with the American public. The commentator argued that Meghan's assumption was flawed, emphasizing that being royals in America requires more than just the title, it necessitates active engagement and contributions. The commentator criticized the couple's deals with Spotify and Netflix, suggesting that they haven't delivered on their promises. The documentary series they produced, in particular, received widespread criticism. Amid these challenges, Harry and Meghan are reportedly frustrated by the continued popularity of Prince William and Princess Kate in the United States. Royal experts suggest that Harry's recent claims about his brother and sister-in-law have actually enhanced their image as the new Prince and Princess of Wales. This development may be causing feelings of isolation and anger for Harry and Meghan, as they witness their own popularity wane while that of William and Kate continues to soar. Meanwhile, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have just come under fire for their inability to stop hogging the spotlight. These claims and sentiments have been issued by royal commentator Maureen Callahan. She weighed in on everything during one of her most candid pieces for the Daily Mail. In this piece she touched on the Sussexes' desire to steal the crown and its associated popularity. The conversation began when Ms. Callahan wrote, the crown never stood a chance because the Duke and Duchess of Montecito just can't help hogging the spotlight. And this long-anticipated final season, with its surprisingly compassionate depictions of Charles and William, hasn't had a moment to land. This is because Prince Harry has been able to make the world believe, he is completely by himself amid Queen Elizabeth's death. So as Ms. Callahan warns, prepare to read the screaming headline in People magazine on the eve of the sixth series. Because what follows is an extract from the upcoming book and game by whom cheerleader Omid Scobie, with whom Sussex sources have since denied any affiliation.